Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of MEW or Matt's Extreme Wrestling, where today we have for you my MEW Hell in a Cell predictions. Yes, we are back with predicting another pay-per-view, and what way to come back than with my favorite pay-per-view. Hell in a Cell is by far one of my personal five favorite pay-per-views that WWE puts on, and usually they don't disappoint. I say usually, but I know I did miss the last pay-per-view, which was WrestleMania Backlash. That pay-per-view literally caught up with me, and I'm just barely getting this review out, so yeah. So, if you guys do not remember from when we predicted WrestleMania, how we're going to do these is we're going to go through each card, or we're going to go through the match card and break down each match, and I will basically predict... Who, who wins, and maybe where we go from here. So, let's start predicting WWE Hell in a Cell 2022. Alright, and the first match that will be predicted will be for the United States Championship Theory defending the U.S. title against Mustafa Ali. Uh, this is a match that... I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this one. I mean, at least the belt is on the line, which is good. If I have to predict, I think Theory is going to win. Um, it'll, I would be genuinely surprised if Mustafa Ali defeats Theory, but my prediction is Theory will be walking out of Hell in a Cell as still the United States Champion. Up next we have the No Holds Barred match, Madcap Moss versus Happy Corbin, a match that I'm genuinely looking forward to. Uh, Madcap Moss has actually become one of my personal favorites recently, and... We all have our opinions on Happy Corbin, or King or King Corbin, or Baron Corbin, whatever you want to call him, but my prediction is I think Madcap Moss, yes, I'm predicting Madcap Moss will defeat Happy Corbin. Up next is the handicap match with Bobby Lashley versus Omos and MVP. This is another match that I think will be very hard-hitting, very physical. I think it'll go back and forth, but at the end of the day, I think... Bobby Lashley is going to pull the upset, and I think he's going to defeat MVP and Omos. My guess would be, if I had to predict how the match would end, is Bobby Lashley will pin MVP, or maybe he'll pin Omos. Who knows? But yeah, that is my prediction. And that is my prediction. Bobby Lashley will win this match. Up next is the six-person mixed tag team match, where we have Judgment Day versus Liv Morgan... AJ Styles and Finn Balor, this is another match that I'm genuinely, look, genuinely looking forward to because I have never seen a six-person mixed tag team match before in all my times of watching WWE, so I think this will be a very interesting match, but if I had to predict the winners, on the one hand, you have Liv, AJ, and Finn. Liv Morgan is one of my favorite female competitors on the roster right now and then on the other side you have Edge who is one of my favorites and AJ Styles and okay okay my honest opinion is I'm gonna predict I think Judgment Day I'm gonna predict Judgment Day is gonna win and one of these three people is gonna turn on each other and join Judgment Day and the people that I think would turn is I think Liv or Balor one of those two, this is just a prediction, will turn on the whole team itself and join forces with Judgment Day and have Judgment Day win. And then there'll be four people on Judgment Day instead of three. But yeah, my prediction is Judgment Day will win and Liv Morgan will be the one to turn against her team. Up next is the triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. Bianca Belair defending against the former champion... In Becky Lynch and Asuka. Now, this match came together very weirdly. Obviously, we all know there was supposed to be a six-pack challenge. I think it was what it was called. And Naomi and Sasha, they walked out. So, that match had to be changed on the fly. Asuka defeated, I think it was like Natalia. It was either Natalia or Dana Brooke. I, I don't remember anymore. But then the next week, Becky Lynch defeated Asuka, so it became a triple threat match. But anyway, I am going to predict... 
I think I'm going to predict Bianca Belair to retain her championship only because she's on a really good movement and I don't think they'd want to screw that up. But yeah, Bianca Belair is going to retain her Raw Women's Championship. And now we have the main event. Seth freaking Rollins versus the American Nightmare, my personal favorite in WWE, Cody Rhodes, inside the Hell in a Cell structure. It's weird only having one match that takes place inside the structure. It's very, it's very weird. But then again, last year there was only one, and I think the year before there was one. It was a, it was a very weird, it's very weird. But anyway, this rivalry has been so good that I almost don't want it to end. Because Seth and Cody, they have had some very good 10 out of 10 five-star matches. Because they had the match at WrestleMania, they had the WrestleMania Backlash match, and now they have their main event match inside Hell in a Cell, at Hell in a Cell. And I, I'll, I could ramble on about this match all night long, but my prediction, Cody Rhodes will earn the trifecta and defeat Seth Rollins inside Hell in a Cell. Cody Rhodes will defeat Seth Rollins. That is my final prediction. All right, guys, and that is going to do it for the predictions on WWE Hell in a Cell 2022. I hope you guys did enjoy the review. Well, not review, but predictions today. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications. Go follow my Instagram. And if the new intro is not already in this video, there will be a brand new intro debuting very soon. I do not know when I'm going to plug in the new intro. But if you are a new viewer, when that intro comes out, you will have to view that intro first before you can view any of the videos on my channel. But yes, there is a brand new intro debuting very, very soon. I am super excited. I've put a lot of work into this. And I hope you guys like it. Like, I hope you guys like it and enjoy it. it, it it's really different than the intro that you guys already know for my channel. But yeah. I will see you all in the very next review. Actually, I will see you all in the very next results. Because we'll do the results for Hell in a Cell. But, have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And, peace!